welcome back. I'm Pastor Cat. This is your weekly encouragement. Have you ever had that nagging sensation that a thing that you're doing isn't right? You're convicted in your heart, yet at the same time you figure, well, if God really didn't want this thing to happen, he would certainly put a stop to it. So you continue doing that thing. Even your prayer life begins to emulate that. God, I'm going to do this thing. If this is not in your will, just take it out of possibility. Yet at the same time, that's not exactly how the Bible teaches that God works. In fact, let me show you real quick. In Romans chapter 2, uh, starting at verse 4, it says this. Or do you not think lightly of the richness of the kindness and the tolerance and patience, not knowing that the kindness of God leads you to repentance? We'll stop there for just a second. You see, oftentimes God is very kind and lets us kind of run our own path to see where it goes. The point of that is not because God doesn't care. The point is he's leading us to repentance so that if we continue to run into the same spiritual block wall over and over again eventually we will repent he goes on but because of your stubbornness and unrepentant heart you're storing up wrath for yourself in the day of wrath and revelation of the righteous judgment of god here's the thing that gets me every time i read it is that these things that I'm doing that I keep thinking if God wanted it to end, he would just put a stop to it. He's actually letting this stubbornness and unrepentantness be stored up and it becomes wrath for later. There is always going to be a payment for my sin. Now, that is not to say that we do not live by grace and God is very willing, completely willing to forgive us of all of our sins if we repent repentance and confession you know there's actually um, a parallel verse that actually comes way back in psalm psalm uh, number 50 actually we're reading just one verse today, and it says in verse 21 it says these things you've done and kept silence you thought that i was just like you i will reprove you in the state the case in order before your eyes here's the thing because we are so wrapped up and locked into this human body, we begin to think that God is like us and that his silence is somehow forgiveness or even acceptance. And that is not the case at all. We can't forget that uh, I am not God. You're not God. God is God. And I know that's very simple but uh, it is an absolute foundation of your faith. Continually remind yourself that you are not God and that I am not God and God is. And because of that, he's not at all like us. So if you are struggling with this, you've been doing a thing that you're convicted about, but at the same time, you don't want to give up on, you think maybe God is just ignoring that and just letting it go, then it is important to remember that God is keeping track of these things. We need to keep very short accounts of our sin and repentance cycle. Well, I hope this has been as encouraging to you as it has been to me. God bless. I'll see you next week. Don't forget that like and subscribe. Be encouraged.